Hey there everyone, Achmin here back again with another video and in this video we are gonna run our very first Node.js application and we will see if we will be able to access it from browser or not. So let's go ahead and get started. Well, I am inside the computer. You can see the terminal. Now, uh, first of all, we need a backend server code, right? In case you are watching this video, yeah, like you're definitely watching this video. So, so you are already familiar with Node.js, I'm pretty sure. And what do you see in my screen right now? It's a basic Express.js um, server, which has a route. And if we try to access this route, it will say, hey, I'm running at port uh, 5000. This is a very basic server, right? Now, we will create this uh, basic um, server inside our computer and try to understand how the process works. Now you will be uh, wondering, hey Ajman, we want to deploy our own application, we want to see how it works, uh, we want to just deploy the MERN stack. Yeah, I understand, I understand. But to make you understand what's the process is, let's go with the very basic one and then it doesn't matter whether it's a basic server, it's your code base, it's gonna exactly run same because we will be installing npm packages and that's what it is in your code base too. So let me copy this code and take it to my other screen and now I'll, oh by the way, this is a Linux computer. You already understand that, right? So we are allowed to, I mean, we, will be using all of the Linux commands. So here, if I try ls, matlab, I mean, uh, show me all of the uh, available directories. And then if I try to create a directory, I have to type mkdir, which means make directory called, what we can say? We can say um, our application. And now we will go inside this, our application. Perfect. Now we will be initializing npm uh, and then we, it will be asking us some questions. Uh, we will be going with all defaults. Let's go with app.js. I love app.js by the way. That's the re only reason. You can go with index too. Um, okay. Yeah, perfect. Now if I try to see ls, I have a file called package.json. You already understand for why this is here. Now let's install Express. Since our code base is using Express, let's install Express. Now, if I try to cat package.json, cat means show me all the contents inside any file. So I'm typing cat, the file name package.json. And now you can see under dependencies, we have installed Express and we can use that. Let's create a simple app.js file with sudo nano app.js. Huh. It's empty. You must be wondering what is nano? Well, it's an editor, just like VS Code editor, but it doesn't have any fancy uh, functionalities and features. It's very just a command line editor. Now, we are inside the file. Now we can just say control V. And if you are on Mac, command V. Well, that's it. Now just uh, press Control O, regardless Mac and Windows Linux. Control O and just type, uh, click on Enter. If you are on Mac, click on uh, Return. That's it. You will see you wrote 11 lines. Now just press Control X. Now let me summarize what do I did. First of all, I created a directory, uh, initialized npm, and then installed Express.js and paste it, very basic server code. No, you don't need to do it. I'm just trying to explain you what is the process. Now, if I just say node app.js, what it's gonna do? It's going to run our server on port 5000, right? As you can see that, now, 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 let's try to access it from our browser. But how do we do it? Well, we, let me bring my sidebar. Ah, huh, why well, it is in dark mode? It's going to make you confused. Let's go. Not it. Okay. 
ओके गुड सो हाउ डू वी एक्सेस दिस फ्रॉम इंटरनेट इफ यू गो बैक टू द इंस्टेंसेज एंड इफ यू क्लिक ऑन लाइक इफ यू सिलेक्ट द इंस्टेंस एंड देन यू विल सी at the bottom you will have something uh, like an arrow if you click there you will see all of the details related to that instance that computer here you will have something called public ipv4 address hmm interesting let's copy this click on this icon and take a new tab and just paste it over here and just click on enter or written whatever it is you will see it's not going to do anything like it is loading loading or maybe an error like it's nothing it's it's not going to do anything why what is the reason well we did not give instructions to our computer that if someone try to access you from your public ip address you have to show me something and that something can be anything so we haven't given that instruction did we no we did not now Let's close this and go back to. Let's um, okay. Now you will see there. There's some. Now you will see some. now you will see something uh, called security and then you will scroll down a little bit a little bit and you will see something called inbound rules and outbound rules let me hide the sidebar so you see a little bit better okay and we can scroll it up scroll okay we have something called inbound rules we have outbound rules inbound means what kind of requests from internet our machine accepts our computer accepts now since there is nothing defined as of now what we can do is we can click on the security groups you remember when we were installing our application creating our computer we unselected um uh, incoming http request or whatever let me show you let me quickly show you um Let's we go go back to inst EC2 launch instance, and then if I just try to scroll down, you remember allow HTTPS traffic from internet, allow HTTP traffic from internet. Why do I say that? Why did I uncheck that? Because I wanted to show later on what issue it creates. Now we need to enable these two. Yeah, definitely um, enabling one test is totally fine, but. then our application is not going to be secured it's it has to be https as well right so we need to enable this too now uh oh my bad okay now um let's go back to instances click select one go to security go to security groups and then edit inbound roles we need to add a new rule called http and now you will see here from http again we need https as well https read from where we want to accept the request from anywhere again from anywhere we definitely can restrict and give our ip address but we want to accept the request from anywhere now let's just click on save rules and if right now we go back to ec2 instances select it copy the ipv4 address and click on new tab it's not going to work huh previously it wasn't saying anything just infinite scroll like infinite loading and right now it's a oh we're not able to connect it yeah at least one step completed the problem here is i am running my application in 5000 so i have to define the port as well let's try to define the port 5000 and see what it happens you see the uh, let me bring back this sidebar 
well 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 again it's not going to work why is not going to work ajman it's it's the same we did let me read the app.js file hmm we have something called res.send here i am running at the port 5000 so right now if we try to run the server node uh, app.js and then if we close it and then if we try to 5000 Okay, so we waited for a long, but the problem is it's not going to work yet. Why it's not going to work yet, Ajman? Well, let's go back to the instance security group setting once again and allow port 5000. Ah, uh, it's so much of a pain. Yeah, I understand, but we have to do it. Let's hide the bar again. And we need to allow a port con 5000 custom TCP. Yep. We need to pour 5,000. Why we need to enable 5,000? Because our application is running on 5,000. Well, don't you worry. I'm going to fix it later on. We don't need to mention it later in this uh, process. Now, we see we have 5,000 enabled. Where it is? Okay, we have 5,000 enabled. That's why it again. Oh. You see this? It's beautiful just okay let's close this let's close this now let's just enter it and voila our application is there so this is how we install a node.js application or we deploy a node.js application and from specific port we access it so in the later videos i will be resolving some issues that not mentioning port but still it works Lot, lot, lot of interesting stuff. Let's go ahead and quickly, quickly see those things. And I'm, I'm, I'm expecting, and I know I will be surely catching you up in the next one.